Following several attempts on Ibrahim Trora's life, Vladimir Putin has taken steps to enhance Trora's security. Since the October 2022 coup in Burkina Faso, President Ibrahim Trore has undertaken multiple high-profile visits to Russia, engaging in discussions with Vladimir Putin and other senior officials. These meetings have yielded bilateral agreements spanning security, economic, and political cooperation. The russia Troy partnership signifies a notable geopolitical shift in the Sahel, potentially challenging Western influence in the region, a development warranting close observation in the years ahead. Before we proceed further in this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, The African Web, and ring the bell icon for notifications. Russia is providing military equipment, including light weapons, armored vehicles, and fighter jets, and has deployed private military contractors to aid in counterterrorism against Islamic militants in Burkina Faso. Economic agreements between Russia and Burkina Faso aim to boost trade, especially in mining and energy, with interests in accessing Burkina Faso's significant gold and uranium reserves. President Ibrahim Traoré manages a delicate balance between Russia and France the latter maintaining a military presence in Burkina Faso. Concerns about dependence on Russia and potential consequences persist within Burkina Faso. In response to security threats, Russia is increasing support to Ibrahim Traoré's government. Since Traoré assumed military leadership in 2022, Burkina Faso has also hosted Wagner mercenaries despite the death of their founder Yevgeny Prigozhin in 2023. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov highlighted extensive cooperation with President Ibrahim Traoré, particularly in military and technical ties. Concerns arise from Russia's deepening security relationships with African nations like Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger, where military coups have occurred. Lavrov's remarks came during a visit to Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso's capital, as part of his recent African tour. Russia aims to strengthen its ties with Africa amidst its conflict with Ukraine. Many African countries, disillusioned with Western powers like France and the United States, are receptive to Russia's overtures. Lavrov praised the growing relations with Burkina Faso, citing agreements from the second Russia-Africa summit. Discussions with Burkina Faso's Minister of Foreign Affairs emphasized enhancing bilateral cooperation across trade, economics, humanitarian efforts, and legal frameworks. Russian instructors are increasingly present in Burkina Faso, with plans for further expansion. Russia is committed to eliminating remaining terrorist groups in the region. Additionally, 1,000 private military contractors have been deployed to support Ibrahim Traoré's forces, offering specialized training, intelligence, and combat assistance. A recent shipment of heavy weaponry, including tanks, armored vehicles, and artillery, underscores Russia's efforts to enhance Burkina Faso's military capabilities in combating terrorism. Russia stands prepared to extend further support to Ibrahim Traoré in his pursuit of African liberation from neocolonialism. Burkina Faso, a landlocked nation with a population exceeding 20 million, has endured eight years of turmoil fueled by extremist factions affiliated with al-Qaeda and the Islamic State, alongside conflicts between government forces and militants. Over the past 10 months, the country witnessed two coups, the latest of which saw a military junta expel French forces and seek security aid from Russia. Despite these challenges, the junta continues its efforts to manage both security and humanitarian crises. According to the Norwegian Refugee Council, Burkina Faso remains the world's most neglected crisis for the second consecutive year. In 2024, approximately 6.3 million people, out of a total population of 20 million, are in dire need. Many face starvation, and around 2 million, 60% of whom are children, are internally displaced. The pervasive trauma among Burkina Bay is exacerbated by the severe scarcity of resources available to aid them. Western government's withdrawal of financial aid from Burkina Faso and neighboring Sahel countries has intensified a vicious cycle of poverty, violence, and extremism. Already in 2024, hundreds of civilians have lost their lives in attacks, including significant incidents in February that claimed the lives of about 170 individuals across three villages and approximately 30 more in separate attacks on mosques and churches. For years, Western powers have cautioned about Russia and China's efforts to expand their influence in Africa. 
Former U.S. Africa Command Head General Thomas Waldholzer underscored Russia's use of mercenaries and arms to gain access to the continent's natural resources back in 2019. Russia has increased its presence in Africa, with Foreign Minister Lavrov commending Ibrahim Traoré and Burkina Bay officials for facilitating the reopening of Russia's embassy in Ouagadougou after 31 years. Burkina Faso has gained significantly from its partnership with Russia, particularly in military support, economic ties, and geopolitical strategy, aiming to counterbalance Western influence. Burkina Faso's deepening ties with Russia could strain relations with Western powers like the US, France, and the UK, potentially reducing development aid, economic investments, and diplomatic influence over time. There's a risk that Burkina Faso may become overly reliant on Russia for military, economic, and political support, making it vulnerable to Russian influence. Russia's involvement in Burkina Faso has contributed to destabilizing the already volatile security situation in the Sahel region. Military aid and the presence of private contractors could escalate local conflicts and fuel resentment among the population. Concerns exist that Russian support might embolden the military junta to suppress dissent and civil liberties in Burkina Faso, given Russia's questionable human rights record. Aligning closely with Russia may also antagonize Islamic militant groups operating in Burkina Faso, making the country a continued target for attacks. To navigate the risks posed by Russian engagement, Burkina Faso must strategically evaluate international partnerships, prioritizing sovereignty, security, economic sustainability, and human rights. Burkina Faso should diversify its alliances to avoid dependency on any single country. Long-term reliability and commitment from partners should be assessed beyond immediate assistance offers. The Traoré administration is likely to seek alliances with nations that share its skepticism towards Western liberal democracy and willingness to challenge the established global order. Crucially, partnerships offering economic aid, infrastructure development, and foreign direct investment are essential for ensuring Burkina Faso's long-term stability and prosperity. In light of ongoing security threats from militant groups, Traoré prioritizes collaborations that provide effective military support, intelligence sharing, and counterterrorism capabilities. Scheduled for November in Sochi, the Russia-Africa Partnership Forum underscores Russia's escalating involvement in Burkina Faso, driven by Traoré's increasing reliance on Moscow's support since the October 2022 coup. Faced with limited backing from Western nations, Traoré has intensified his strategic alliance with President Putin. While this partnership may yield short-term benefits for Burkina Faso, there are concerns that over-reliance on Russia could adversely affect the country's long-term stability, economic development, and global reputation. Prudent decision-making is imperative to mitigate potential future challenges. If you found this video informative, kindly give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the African Web channel, and share it with your loved ones. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.